Hey Iron Rebellion pilots, this is Waffles, bringing you a progress log video for Iron Rebellion version 0.9262. This update brings two new massive maps, Echis Operation and Zone 13. The goal of this update was to go beyond the mere physical skill of controlling your mech and demand the player to use strategy in order to succeed. With the added scale to the maps, firefights can now happen at all ranges. Paths can be flanked and attacks can be evaded, adding a deep layer of complexity to the game's core loop. Let's give you a tour. Echis Operation is one of many dried up mining facilities on the northern border of Kandor Chasma. It features three dynamic landscapes asking for different tactics in each zone. Point A, the Canyon Foothills, features vertical oriented rock faces forcing players into narrow paths and close quarter combat, really testing your situational awareness. Point B, the Dunes, features a massive expanse of sand dunes that stretch north for miles. This landscape forces players into long-range combat over sweeping cover in an attempt to own the central compound. Point C, the rock field, opens up to allow players to dodge and skirmish around mounds and small rubble piles in a fight to control the core mining facility. Zone 13 is an old material storage colony that was later repopulated by scavengers and finally abandoned for good once it became the center of the war. Like Echis Operation, it features a variety of zones, but more prominently features buildings, bridges, and tunnels to break up the terrain, including the city at the center. Point A sits between both team spawns and is a crowded production area with plenty of buildings and areas to hide within and will undoubtedly be a frantic busy hunting area. Just watch your back as ambushes are very frequent here. Point B is located around two monolithic structures with scavenger shacks built around them providing light cover and camouflage when holding the point. Point C is a combination of the previous two points featuring plenty of cover, but has an open space that also encourages long distance firefights. At the start of a match, you'll find most pilots rushing to the city center area, which of course provides the most amount of cover and plenty of vertical sniping positions. Add to the fact that it's a great starting point to then engage any of the other three major points in the map, you better keep your head on a swivel, as the other teams will most certainly want that advantage. The devs push for weeks on these two maps in hope to open up gameplay and provide an experience that takes the game to the next level. In return, they feel like they've really tapped into the DNA and scale they've always dreamed Iron Rebellion would become. And this is only the beginning. Besides making for more dynamic gameplay, it also opens up the obvious opportunity to increase the player count from 4v4 to 6v6, or even possibly 8v8 down the road. So keep an eye out for when that hits a future build. In addition to the obvious highlights of the update, the devs have also dialed in the movement system to complement these new maps. Mechs have now been upgraded to handle much more rugged terrain, climb up slopes, all while retaining as much traction of terrain as possible. Jumping received an overhaul as well, encouraging players to use it more as a maneuvering tool and less of an evasion tool, forcing them to utilize more of the cover spread throughout the map. You'll also notice an increase to gravity when descending, which should make you feel like less of a sitting duck mid-air and give you more opportunity to recover when being engaged. If you love Iron Rebellion and want to be part of our amazing community, check out the Discord channel in the description. Once in, you can find more information about our weekly beta playtests hosted by the devs, share feedback, and get to know our passionate pilots. Just be careful those clan recruiters, they're a little too passionate sometimes. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. You can find me in the game as Waffles and on my YouTube channel. See you all on the battlefield. Waffles out.